Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to the game Subnautica. Alright, so something I forgot to do on the last episode before I got off, we actually have another egg. So I wanted to pop that in here and oh man, it floats to the top. So that's the first one we've had that behaved like that, so I'm awfully curious what this one's gonna end up being. Alright, so we got another name finally filled out. This one's brought to you by Silent Boy Tosh, also probably pronounced Cash. His name suggestion was to simply name it the Exosuit, which I think sounds pretty nice to me. Now we gotta figure out a nice color for the name, something that's gonna stick out. Maybe this blue here, let's go ahead and see how that looks. You know what, we can do something a little bit better. That blue is not looking good against that red. All right, looks like we're probably gonna end up doing this one maybe white. Let's see how that looks. You know what, that looks pretty good to me. Kinda curious if Cash is a fan of Gundam because Exosuit kinda reminds me of that. Alright, so here's what I got planned today, guys. I actually want to end up going to this artifact that is on land. We have not made it to it yet, and I actually have a few ideas of how we're going to accomplish this. So the first order of business is we're going to have to actually make sure that we have enough inventory, a lot of resource there, and start building a base on land. I have not done that yet. All right, while I was getting ready for our little excursion here, I think our egg just hatched, so let's check it out. All right, so that egg did not hatch, so which egg hatched? Okay, so we got the little Arctic shooter, the guy that freezes you to death. All right, so I, what I'm gonna do right now is in preparation for this, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the docking module for the sea truck so that we can carry the exosuit with us everywhere we go. Uh, I'm still just missing one piece, so hopefully I can find it. All right, and just like that, guys, I think I found the last piece, so we should have the blueprint now, and that means we can carry the exosuit everywhere we go. All right, guys, we just made it back. I have a pretty good sizable inventory right here. I do have a bunch of things loaded up on the sea truck as well. I've only got a few pieces of lead. I don't know if that's going to be a concern, but we can address that later. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get this egg inside of our aquarium here. And there we go. Man, that's a big egg. You know, that might not be for the little seahorse. That might actually be for one of the whales in the game. And this egg is still not hatched yet, so I'm kind of curious what this is going to end up being. I, I absolutely have no idea. I could look it up, but that would kind of ruin the fun of it, wouldn't it? All right, guys, I think I got a pretty good start as far as uh, materials is concerned, so let's go ahead and make it to where we think our base is going to end up being. Our little snow fox should be fully charged, so let's go ahead and see. And yes, as long as it's docked, it will be charging, so that's pretty good for us. And I'm also curious if our base will be polar bear proof. You know, that's kind of a big deal if it can get destroyed by a polar bear. That would kind of ruin our day. I do want to make sure that it is also inland a little bit, so uh, we're going to look for a nice little clearing somewhere. Maybe here somewhere on the ice would be nice. Uh, but even here, we have to worry about the polar bears. As you can see right over here to my left, there's one kind of glowing in the shadow there. All right, well, we're actually going the complete wrong direction in order to get to this artifact here, as we can see. Well, maybe we should start building the base in that direction, possibly. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start heading back. Oh, God. Uh, it is dark, so let's go ahead and get our light that we use once in a blue moon. There we go. We have light. All right, so right off the rip, I see a ion cube. We'll have to pick that up here in a moment. Look at that. New technology acquired. Oh, shit. Teleportation module for the sea truck. Okay. A tether tool? I'm not sure what the tether tool is about. Alan not going to chime in? So even here with the frozen waterfall, that would be a really cool place for a base. I mean, we're right here beside the lab, and it wouldn't be that far out of our way. But see, if we look at the map, we're barely in here, so it would kind of not make too much sense. But at the same time, it would. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. It's safe. There's hardly any polar bears. Can we even put one of these on land? We can. All right, we just gotta get in the right position here. I believe right there it looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Go ahead and plop it in the spot, and then we'll come over here and build it. So I need to go back to the sea chart to make two plastil ingots, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and finish building it. So hopefully when we build this hatch here, it will allow us some stairs, and it does. That's good. That's good to know. We want another docking station here as well. And for whatever reason, it's being awfully picky about where it's going. 
So how are we actually supposed to get on top of the base to build power? If we just put them here on the ground, will that be sufficient enough to power the base? Let's find out. So even though we ain't gonna have power right now because it's nighttime, we should see some kind of reading inside the base if it was the case. And yes, we have 75 energy, so that means we do have power to the base. So that is a viable option, putting solar panels on the ground. And if we look at the back here, we can see the little energy trace. Let's go ahead and do just a few more of those. Build at least uh, four of them should be good, at least for a little outpost like this. All right, gotta get our ass back into this base, man. It's getting cold out there. All right, so we got 300 points of energy. I think that's suitable. That's good enough to work with. And then I think we can do something a little bit different with this base. Go ahead and do a partition. Kind of segment the base a little bit. Oh, we got power. All right, let's see. Where are we going to put this bad boy? It really does not want me to have it in a convenient location. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Seems good enough. Not ideal, of course, but it's something. It'll keep our baby charged. All right, well, we have a serviceable base, at least for now. So let's go ahead and continue with our exploration and see if we can find anything new. I really hope we can. All right, is he going to charge me? Yeah, he might. He might. Man, why are you guys always located in the most inconvenient places, man? All right, let's just rush it. Let's rush it. Uh, we got it. Hey, there's a way up there. We might need to check that out. Is this guy after us still? Yeah. All right, let's blast. Screw you, dude. We gave him the old slip. Up the hill we go. Hopefully, we'll be okay. All right, the jump module just finally came in use for the first time. Let's go ahead and take a step back and look at the map here. Where are we located? Okay, it looks like we're going somewhere that doesn't matter. So we might need to start heading back and wrapping around. I need to start checking the map a little bit more than what I do. Oh, you know, the jump module is not as bad as I initially thought. Okay, we've made it back to this area here. So let's go ahead and check our map. All right, we just need to continue on this path and make it through here somehow. All right. So we just got blasted into the stress. Oh, no, the penguin. I'm so sorry, little guy. Hey, what are they doing? Are they trying to hurt me? What's up? Give me my, uh, give me my snow fox there. I don't know what you guys are doing. All right, so let's check the map. All right, so this is the right direction to go. I do see a little uh, two bears over there, even. Can they even go into water? Is that a thing? Hey, guy. All right, let's go into water. Let's test it out. Test out the theory. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. You little bitch. Come at me, bro. Oh, slip by you. Uh, I wasn't seeing that coming, were you? All right, we need to get the other... Uh, we need to get the other adult to follow us. Now, the reason I'm going out of my way to make sure that these guys uh, get into the water is because, one, they're very slow, but, two, I need to get into the nest to get hair. Or the fur, excuse me. You guys don't know what's what. Oh, God. I don't know what's what. Let's get out of here. Over here, bitch. Over here, bitch. All right, there we go. All right, let's just run. Just run into the cave. Hopefully, they don't follow. Oh, there's another one in here. Holy shit. Are they following me? I think so. Oh, God, there's another one up here. Holy shit. I just found the mother nest, man. They are everywhere. Oh, God, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Jump. Jump. Go, 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 go. Lights. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. So if we come up to this guy, we can scan him. Now, where's your fur? There's some fur. That's what I needed. One and two. I'm going to need a lot more than just two, but that's a start. There's some more right there. One, two, three. Let's get out of here. Haul ass. Oh, buddy. Now, I have no idea where we at. All right. We made even progress doing that. So how much uh, fur did we get? One, two, three, four, five. And we have a sits at the house. Now, if we go into our blueprints here, hopefully I'm in a safe space. The cold suit. There we go. It'll take two of the fur. We need the cold suit. There's another. And then the head as well. All right. So we needed a total of four fur, but we have a total of six. So we are more than covered. Okay. All right. So we made it back to this area. 
The low whale Ed discovered. All right, so I guess that really big Ed was the whale. Good to know. We'll check both of those out when we get back to the base. Is this guy following me? I think he might be. Now we just snuck behind him. Yep, now he is. All right. Come at me, bro. Yeah, you jumped on that tree, didn't you? Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, you fuck you. All right, so let's see. There might. It looks like there's a cave right here, so let's go ahead and try for that. Uh, all right, let's get off of the snow fox here. All right, we'll go bust the snow fox right back out because uh, it is our only means of protection against hypothermia. All right, so what's in here? What's the big deal? This can't be it. Is that really it? That, that can't be it. Okay, so it looks like the only thing that was really here was just four little deposits of titanium. I mean, there's obviously this wall here, which it looks like it might be significant later on, but for now, uh, it's completely useless to us. But there's still another point of interest I want to look at. And there's going to be this little cove right here to our right. I really got to start doing these. Okay, all right, so it keeps wanting us to do these spy pingling things. So let's go ahead and do that and the remote for it. Uh, let's go ahead and make that and come right back here and see what this is about because I feel that's going to be pretty big. Oh yeah, man, we made it back to base. Now, let's go ahead and dock this mangled beast. Also repair it while we're at it. Okay, so I did manage to Welcome find a little pond country. while I was out. So that should allow us at least some food. Four arctic peepers to be precise. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, so I want this place to be nice and homey when we get in here. So let's see, what kind of bed do we want? We want maybe something a little relaxing. We can do a little flower action, maybe. Fiber mesh? Oh man, I ain't got no fiber mesh. Alright, that'll stay half built. That's okay. Can we do a green wall? Yes, we can. I think that looks nice. There we go. Are we allowed to plant on this? Is that a thing? No, it's just... It, it is what it is. It's right there. Thought about swapping it over with this. I think this is a pretty cool bed. Do a nice little nightstand as well. Do a nice little grow bed in this corner. We can do the same over here as well. All we gotta do is bring back some plants and we can have a food source here. You can go ahead and finish this wall. I don't know why we're doing the wall, but we're doing the wall anyway. Go ahead and do the door. There we go. And then we can use this space for, you know, whatever. But I'll leave that up to you guys. Whatever you guys decide we should do with this room, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to make it happen. All right, so sadly we do not have the means to make the things on my list right to my right. Uh, so we're gonna have to head back to base to get that shit done and then we'll come back and then we'll do some pingling action. All right, and I should have everything I need. So let's go ahead and go here and we can start making the suit cold suit there we go all right one item done inventory full okay there's some space let's go ahead and put some of this titanium up we'll pick it right back up there we go we can pick the suit up now Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia nice 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 now what if happens if we have a full suit? Would that uh, get rid of it all together? That's what I'm hoping for. And all that good shit should automatically equip itself. Yes, it does. Uh, did that throw anything back into my inventory? Yeah, it did. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we got an achievement. Dress for the weather. All right, so while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and convert some of this other stuff into things like fiber and uh, rubber as well. Oh, but I made a titanium ingot instead. That's not good. There's the rubber. Okay, can we make the penguin now? We can. And then we'll need the remote for it afterwards. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Nice, so we can possibly get an egg for that. But yeah, the spy pingling, remote controlled observation robot. Should we make another one? Is that a thing? Should we worry about one getting uh, messed up here? I don't know. Okay, the tether tool. That's something we unlocked earlier. Teleport to nearby sea truck. Okay. All right, so this works in conjunction with the, uh, the sea truck teleportation. And we can put this really anywhere and we can go back and forth uh, from the sea truck to land, which would be awfully helpful for our on-land base. Uh, that is something that we will definitely take advantage of in the future. 
All right, let's go ahead and pick up our one piece of titanium back. We'll go ahead and grab some of this magnetite as well. Maybe one synthetic fiber, some lithium, and uh, we can make one more rubber. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just to get it out of our inventory. You know what? Let's turn it into lubricant instead, just so that we have some at the base. Uh, we can make some more aerogel. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some aerogel. There was something I wanted to make with it, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, so the water filtration is going to require the aerogel. I think that'd be pretty good to have in that base as well. Let's go ahead and make our copper wire if we can. And we can. Yes, sir. All right, so all we need now is two more pieces of titanium, and we should be good to go at least uh, on that front. So let's go ahead and start heading back. All right, here's the test. Are we taking any thermal damage? No, we are not. We are, well, yeah, we are, but it's very, very slow. All right, we've made it back, guys. All right, let's go ahead and finish this bed. And go ahead and sleep the night away as well. All right, let's go ahead and do just a little bit of decoration. Why not? The anti-gravity pendulum of this executive meditation tool spins indefinitely by conserving momentum and recycling energy. Okay, so I definitely want to do a water filtration. We did not grab the titanium we needed. But, thankfully, there is a little vein literally right across from my base. So that's a good thing. Literally, it was right here. It wasn't even 10 feet from the base. There we go. And now we'll have water production going. Hey, all right, here's our first little location. We can do this. And if we go ahead and scan this guy, we can also get some more titanium. All right, so how does this work? Do we put this guy down here? Is that how this works? There we go. Nice. Okay. All right, so we don't want to pick him up just yet. So then we grab the remote. How does this work? There we go. Hey, quartz. I needed that. Huh. So this is going to be for particular resources, maybe? Uh, I'm kind of curious if there's going to be any more to it than that. Match capacity? Match capacity? Hold on. Hey, we can see ourselves for the first time. Look at that. All right, so we press E to exit. And apparently there's a self-destruct mode, which does not sound good. Okay, well, I need more torch, so get your ass back in there. Companionship level? An infiltration value? How do we get our companionship level up? Questions, man. Questions. We need to bond with the machine. All right, and then one more piece of quartz on the way out. There we go. And I think that's it. Give me all your goodies, little guy. Man, you're awesome. All right, so let's check our map. All right, so this is definitely the right way to go, I, th I think. I think. Uh, let's continue right just in case. See if we can find a faster route. Hey, another pingling location. All right, is there a guy after us? No. All right, let's go ahead and drop him down. And here we go. All right, so I'm curious what's going to be in here. See, I see a little light. I see a whole bunch of gear. Do I want more torts? I'll take more torts. Why not? We'll explore just a little bit first. Hey, what is this? A PDA? Oh, I can't tab it from here. Okay. All right. It looks like we're losing signal, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's head back. All right. So uh, that seemed to be the little location that we wanted to inevitably do. So I think we have achieved our goal. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh shit, look at this, guys. You know what this is? This is the jellyfish eggs. I was curious where these little guys were. I'm gonna grab a few of them. How big are they? They ain't too big. Let's grab another one. Alright, so we got a total of four now. I was curious where these jellyfish eggs were, man. I haven't seen them all play through. Alright, guys. Even with our little emergency jump in the water, we managed to get back to base in one piece. Uh, something I noticed while I was putting that away is I never picked up this PDA right here. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. 
like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. Huh. I wonder what that was all about. I'm curious about the clicking. I know we've already picked up Alan. Uh, so maybe that's what that was pertaining to. As you can see, our little friend, our little dog here, is doing just fine. He's as happy as can be. He's loving life. How you doing, buddy? Aww. We're gonna have to still give him a name, guys, so leave a comment down below on what we should name this guy. And I feel the last order of business in today's video is gonna be dropping these eggs. Oh god, we got a glitch. How'd you get out of your cage, you little bitch? There we go, we got a nice whale in here. It's getting kind of populated. Alright, there's one, two, three, and four. Let me make sure I don't have any more eggs. I don't believe I do. But yeah, oh, and they, they immediately, oh, they didn't immediately hatch. They just kind of look like it, don't they? Yeah, our aquarium, man, it's looking pretty lively right now. Hopefully we can get one of every creature in the game. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe as I am a very small YouTuber and it helps me out tremendously. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next one.